I'm so happy to be in Rwanda. I love your country. This is the country that's finally made me complete East Africa because I'd been everywhere except here. And I can't wait to see you guys tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. I love that there's so much peace in Rwanda. Oh. I've noticed there's not lots of political tension. Yeah. It's clean, it's peaceful, and I really admire this about your country. And hopefully one day that can be the same for Kenya, you know? So I guess, mm. Mm. on an Italian father and a Kenyan mother, and then you moved to Belgium for studies. What happened? How did that. you how did you end up by you know going to Belgium and all of this? Oh. So I grew up with a Belgian stepfather oh. the majority yeah. of my life. Yeah. Plan to go back to media anytime soon? Uh no, not for now. Not. I'm really focusing on my art. Um. And uh, is an artist you once posted a rapper from here who mentioned you on his track do you remember yeah. him Bogo? yeah i saw someone being interviewed and said my yeah i posted on my story yeah yeah, yeah. I saw that. what was he saying by the way i've been meaning to ask that uh mm. you have someone by your side right now hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh the choice live so one more time ladies and gentlemen tanasha donna is in the building welcome to the choice live yeah we're doing great. How about you? I'm good. I was told, how do we say it? Muraho, Muharo. Muraho. Muraho. Yeah, yeah you yeah. got it right. Muraho. Yeah, I got it wrong. I got Ama it right. Yeah, yeah you got Perfect. it right. Okay. Amakuru. Amakuru. That's thank you, right? Yeah. No, no it's no. Uh, it's uh, how are you? Ah, oh, how are you? Amakuru. Yeah. yeah. Amakuru. Nimeza. Ah, okay. Yeah. Nimeza. Nimeza. Nice. I love it. Yeah. How many languages do you speak, by the way? I speak French, English, mm. Dutch, Swahili, and a bit of Spanish. Yeah. I'm lost, bro. Yeah. I can't even count. <laughs> I can't even count. Four and a half. French, mm -hmm. English, and the guts. Okay, to know Swahili. Dutch, yeah. Dutch, yeah. To know Anzia Swahili. Yeah. In a kwaje. Poa sana, mko salama. Unaongea Kiswahili? Ah. Najitahidi. Ah, unajitahidi vizuri sana. Najitahidi sana. Yeah. Umefika nini? Nimefika jana. jana. Jana usiku. Yeah. Usiku. Yeah. Uh, Nimesikia kwamba umechelewa. Sijui ni nani you missed your flight. Unajua nili miss flight kwa sababu uh. kwenye tikiti niliona Thursday uh -huh. 21st. Uh -huh. Kumbe ilikuwa Thursday after midnight. So Wednesday after midnight. Uh -huh. Umelewa? Yeah. yeah. Umelewa. So kwenye tiki nimeona Thursday. Uh -huh. Nikadhani flight ni ya Thursday. So it was just miss a whole misunderstanding. Yeah. Mm. Travel sana. How did you mix them? It <laughs> happens, you know, human <laughs> human mistake. You yeah. had a lot of yeah. Man, yo. It was a genuine mistake. I would yeah. never intentionally do yeah. that. See, makes yeah. sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. We understand. And finally you Thank made you. it here. Yeah. I'm here. Uh, which uh, one was the second language? The what? Uh, which one was the second language? Uh, Dutch. Dutch. You say Dutch. Yeah. Kiswahili, French, and good English. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's how you say yeah. good morning. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> and then the third one, which one are you trying, by Francais? the way? I, I can try English only. You can try English only. Uh, Kiswahili is very kidog. Kido. Not even French. I am not French. Je ne peux pas dire bonjour, comment ça va, comment était la journée. La journée était très bien. Je suis oh. très heureuse d'être ici, à Rwanda. Uh, how did you learn French in Kenya? <laughs> non, arrête moi, arrête moi, je suis francophone. <laughs> yeah. Moi, je suis francophone. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait aujourd'hui, depuis le matin? On avait des interviews. C'est mm -hmm. c'est les troisième interview que oh. oui. On a fait yeah. <laughs> des plusieurs interviews. Oh. On a on a marché dans la rue. Dans la rue, oui, dans avec la les rue. gens, avec les pieds. Oui, hein. avec les pieds, moi et, et mon Qui manager. Ton manager. Et, oui, voilà. Elle est d'ici ou... la sécurité, c'était très bien. Elle est très propre ou chez vous. Non, elle est kenyane. Oh. On, on dirait qu'elle est rwandaise, non oui, ouais, ouais. Oui, il ouais, y a ouais. beaucoup de gens yeah. qui pensent ça. <rire> et la simple à quelqu'un que je connais. Hein. Ah bon Oui, ouais, je vous dis la vérité. Hein. <rire> elle ne te comprend pas. Elle s'appelle comment Elle s'appelle Ruth. Ruth. Oui, Ruth. Ruth, ah, oh. I see uh, Ruth. Mm. Ah, Ruth en Nimo français. Kikuyu, ama Nimo... Mujalu. <laughs> Mujalu, <laughs> eh? <laughs> it makes sense, I can see, eh? Oh. Uh, I could tell, I could tell. All right, yo, uh, it's, it's actually a pleasure having you on the show, and uh, you're coming for a concert. Uh, when is it happening? 
So it's at B Lounge tonight. It's, oh. it's going to yeah, gonna be a little li- little get together. Not mm. little, little. It's going to be lit, you know? Good yeah. vibes. Yeah. Mm. And there's also a pool party tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so hope you, you got, hope I'm going to see you guys there. Well, yeah, we, yeah, we have to come yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, of we course. Do. We yeah. have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we so we so before we actually streets. get to talk about uh, the shows uh, in details, uh, tell us a little bit about your roots. Roots. Because on this song, you featured uh, Baraka. Uh, you rap like uh, my mom <laughs> Kenyan, my dad <laughs> Italian. Yeah. What she do? So uh, I come from a lot of places. Uh, so my mom is Kenyan, uh-huh. full Kenyan. Uh-huh. My biological father is Italian. Mm-hmm. Um, I was born in England, mm-hmm. but I moved to Kenya when I was seven, oh. when I was very young. Mm-hmm. And then I moved to Belgium. That's why I speak French. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm like a global citizen at this point, but I identify as Kenyan, you know? A home is home at the end of the day. Yeah. So I identify as African, as Kenyan, and yeah. So you make what you can put away on your English, on an Italian father and a Kenyan mother, and then you moved to Belgium for studies. What happened? How did that. you how did you end up by you know going to Belgium and you all of born? this? Mm-hmm. So I grew up with a Belgian stepfather, oh majority yeah. of my life. Yeah. Oh so yeah. from when I was about seven to they separated, him and my mom separated about ten years ago. Mm-hmm. So yeah, for a good um, fourteen years, this was my father figure. So that's how we moved to Belgium. But first, we lived together in Kenya for like six years mm-hmm. before we moved to Belgium when I was about twelve. I yeah. See. So hence the global citizen thing. Yeah. It's a lot of places, a lot yeah. of countries, yeah. <laughs> a yeah. lot of like <laughs> locations, you know. But, but yeah. international human being, the international. But 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 it's playing well because <laughs> she can speak French, she can yeah. speak Dutch, she can you know it's, yeah, uh, it's an advantage. It's really obvious, yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Uh, yeah. And uh, I was watching your interview at the airport. You mentioned something like uh, 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 you were working at the same time studying. Were you doing university or secondary? No, so when I was working and studying, mm. I was in high school. High school. So, like, heading to university. So I was about 17. Mm-hmm. And after school, I wanted to make some extra money, aside from the pocket money my mom was giving me. So I used to work. And, and um, a friend of mine, who's Rwandese, actually, was one of... Um, my first bosses. Right. <laughs> She's one of the reasons I'm here today. Oh. So yeah, I used to. I was a hustler from a young age. I always was trying to like make some extra cash in Belgium. You know, after school, take a train to Brussels. I was working behind the bar. So yeah, it Which was an experience. Not really yeah. with, uh, ladies, you know. Really, ladies are not that hustlers. What? You know, I don't know are, what ladies uh, you're talking <laughs> about, <laughs> but <laughs> not a lot of them. Not a lot of them. It's just oh, a few no number. Way. I tried to be at all. Hustlers, I'm you. I disagree with you. And you started hustling at a young age. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you. Did you at least come to realize your dreams? Not yet. Mm-hmm. This it's still a work but it's in still progress. Amazing. Come on, you're yeah. moving in a business class. Probably only. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even yeah. for me. It's not even about business class or any yeah. of those things. You know, for me personally, uh-huh. it's about I've not hit the mark that I want to yet. Mm. Um, in music, for example, I still consider myself upcoming. I was quiet for a while. Mm-hmm. Now we're about to drop an album this year. Wow, the first amazing. single from the album is coming out next week. Mm-hmm. So it's an evolved sound. It's a sound to look out for and. Yeah, I'm excited. We can't mm. wait. We can't wait. Thank you. Yeah. We can't wait. Yeah. Yo, uh, so has been like 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 she, she got to take some time for translation, yo. Yeah, just a summary. So, and Bumi, <laughs> after Bumi, Jake Sora, Bumi, 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 um, I was about to ask Tanasha, uh, how do you, you were say one second, uh, 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 u
is it a quiz <laughs> about my life or something? Yeah, I'm translating. She's summarizing. Ah, she's Ukraine translating. Yeah, she's oh, translating. nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what she's doing. I love your language, though. Yeah. Thanks. I'm going to talk to my mom. ni Sorry? Your first uh, boss. Janine, Janine, Janine. Janine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Is she the one of the... Uh, no, no, Janine, she's no. not. Janine, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's a private person. She'd probably be like, girl, are you talking about me? No, <laughs> she's known here. Yeah. You are. Yeah. You don't no, know but she is, she is she's known here. I see, I see that on Instagram, actually. Yeah. I've seen it. Oh. Yeah, she is. Because they asked me about her at the airport, too. So. Yeah, uh, she's, she's my. Here. She's my sister, my... For life, oh. she, yeah. she, an she, amazing person. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. dated a popular musician here. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's something in common. You also dated a, a popular uh-huh. musician back in Tanzania. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. So it's something in common. Yeah. Now, uh, how do you feel on someone who was once your boss now became a friend? I mean, it happens, right? You evolved, mm-hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. It happens. Yeah, we. I grew mm. up. Let me say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. You grew up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's Tana Charles and gentlemen. She's here for a show uh, happening tonight. And of course, tomorrow there's a food party mm. happening at uh, B Hotel. Uh, make sure you put up uh, either tonight or tomorrow. You put up for both shows. Mm. It's all possible. And uh, we still actually, uh, you know, uh Justin we here on the Trace Live. Let me hope you're enjoying. If you have any question, kindly send it through our WhatsApp number. It's there on our screen. And uh, my next question is a little bit um away from music. Uh is the situation in Kenya happening right now? Kuna manda mano. Yes. You've been following. I've been following heavily. Oh. We talk we were just talking about it with mm-hmm. my team. Yeah. yeah. How would you describe the situation in Kenya right now for someone who knows nothing about it? For honestly, mm. um, we're trying to reject a finance bill mm-hmm. um, that the government is trying to approve. Mm-hmm. There's, the tax is already so high in our country mm. and now it's getting to a point where they want to tax every single little thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And the whole country is speaking up against it. You yeah. know how politics in Kenya is? It's a sensitive issue, but the generation right now, the Gen Z, the like Gen we call Z. them, are, are the speaking up. Not really, I'm 30 next year, so I wouldn't really consider myself Gen Z. (laughs) But I can relate to them because they're a generation behind us. And they're our voices right now and they're speaking up and we're doing peaceful protesting. Nobody's protesting um, in a violent way. But that's not being reciprocated from our officers who are meant to protect us, yeah. but instead are, are pouring tear gas in, in the CBD. And a guy died mm. from a police um, gunshot and was mm. left to die. And, and yeah, it's a sad moment right yeah. now for us. It's a sensitive topic, of course. But mm. if we don't speak up against it, I don't think we'll find a solution. Mm. We'll just be a part of the system. So... Yeah. yeah, I love that there's so much peace in Rwanda. <laughs> I've noticed there's not lots of political tension. Yeah. It's clean, it's peaceful, and I really admire this about your country. And hopefully, one day that can be the same for Kenya. You and know, guess what? Yeah. A few days mm. of voting for our next uh, president. Mashallah, I love that. I'm <laughs> so far coming. he's doing he amazing. Coming. From yeah. what I'm seeing, he's oh. doing amazing for your country. Oh. Very clean, beautiful. Wow, we were impressed. We've been talking about it the whole time. Oh. And yeah, very happy to be here. For my first time, I'm so impressed. I'm yet to try Rwandan food now. Did you oh, try yeah. some? Not yet. Oh. What would what you, you recommend? Want I want the best one. What's the, the best, best one? dish? Yeah. You have to be the one it's to zombie. choose. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zombe is the best. Zombe? Zombe. Yeah. Zombe. Yeah. Zombe. Yeah. Okay. You don't you have it in Kenya? No. What is it like? Is it like Ugali? No, no, no. no. Mm. It's a... Uh, um, it's a... Um, it's a... Um, uh, is it... Nigeria. No, cassava leaves. Yeah, oh, they're cassava, like cassava leaves. Yeah, cassava yeah. leaves. Pounded. Oh. Yeah, they're pounded, yeah. yeah. 
You know it? I know it. Yeah. Is it pounded? Yeah, it's pounded. pounded. And then it becomes like a ugali almost. No. Not really. It's mm-hmm. a sauce made uh, from uh, sauce. cassava leaves. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cassava leaves. I, so I want to try it. It's actually most of the times taken with uh, ugali. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Nice. It's like one of the staple food. Yes. Oh. Yeah. What do you have it with? Uh, oh. You can try it with the ugali, mm. rice. rice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Rice and ugali. Okay. That's, that's mostly what they take it with. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to a bit <laughs> go back from <laughs> okay. what you yeah. were saying. Exactly. Yeah. About the protest. <laughs> mm-hmm. we, uh, we saw the pictures and videos of Eriko Mondi uh, being in that peace protest. What are your thoughts on uh, seeing a comedian who is a bit like known or a celebrity there doing such things? I love what Eric Mondi is doing. He's my brother, by the way. Mm. And he has spoken up for Kenya in so many ways. He has contributed to our country in so many ways and our community. The things he does, even if you just follow him on social media, it speaks for itself. You see how involved he is, you see how much he's helping people. And it's people like him who are a change for our country, you know? He speaks for all of us and with, he uses his, his influence in a positive way. So mm-hmm. I love that, yeah. yeah. I love what he's doing, yeah. 100%. I also love, uh, he has this campaign called Asis Kwasisi. I love that campaign. He's really doing amazing. When you go back to Kenya, tell him someone in Rwanda is appreciating what you're doing. Man. I will. Hopefully, yeah. if this uh, video can be found online, I'll show it to him. Definitely. Yeah. Send yes. it to him. It's, yeah. 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 it's amazing. Yo, Tana Shadon is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. The show is live. This is how we do. I said it anyway before. If you have anything to ask, yeah, let's do it right now. Let's make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, to do a little bit, Kwenye, Mziki Wako. Um, we spoke uh, about releasing a new album, but uh, you've been quiet as you, Aria, mentioned it. Yeah. What was, what was, what was the problem? What, 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 what is the reason why? I was quiet. It's like a whole year without dropping any song. More than a year, actually. What happened? More than a year. Long story short, it was out of my control. Mm-hmm. I was having contractual issues on my previous contract with my previous distributors, which I'm now free from. So I'm finally free, I can finally drop. But me not dropping was was more a contractual issue. My contract didn't allow me to drop. So now I can. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of contracts, I can attest to this. It was in a pita pita mitanda oni. What we were going to sign, what we were signing with the WCB, is it true? Were no. you signed under the WCB management? No, I was never signed under WCB. No. Yeah. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. So. Uh, which contract was that? No, it yeah. wasn't with WCB. <laughs> I'll make that very clear. <laughs> it was with, I'm not going to mention the name of the distribution company, yeah. but yeah. the people who know, know, because mm. I have spoken once or twice about it. Mm. I don't want to badmouth them or taint yeah. them in a negative light on mm. such a big platform. But yeah, um, we learn and we grow. And no ill feeling to anybody, not even the people I worked with and it didn't work out. It's just all love over here. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, how do you compare uh, when you were still working with people who are under WCB and when you left them? How do you compare your music effort like when you were there and once you left the group? I don't, I, first of all, I was never under WCB. No, I'm not saying you were yeah. there as a yeah. um, signee, yeah. but you were I collaborated with, with them. You collaborated yes. I collaborated with Bosa, with Bosa and with You dated and with their Diamond, boss. Yeah. yeah. How, how was, you know, how would you compare those two moments? Okay, so for me, um, I look at it as chapters, right? Chapters. That was a chapter of yeah. my life. Mm-hmm. Um, even how those two songs came about. It was actually only two songs, to be honest. It wasn't more than that, you yeah. know? So two songs. After that, when I came back and I was doing my own thing, I was doing my singles, they did quite well, you know? They did quite well in East Africa. They, did, they didn't do as big as the other two. Yeah. But I still consider myself an upcoming artist. Mm-hmm. And right now, the sound I have has evolved so much. It's, not my, it's nothing compared to my old sound, actually. Mm-hmm. It's kind of music for export with a touch of East Africa. Yeah. We're trying to internationalize the sound. We're trying to do what the Iris Tars and the Thames and all these people are doing. Oh, they're wow. Africans, they're doing it, the Tylers. And if they can do it, we can do it too Why here not? in East Africa. Oh. So yeah, the sound has evolved and I can't wait for you guys to hear the new album. It's called This Is Me. 
And the first single is dropping next week. It's called OK. Mm -hmm. And yeah, can't right. wait for you guys to vibe with it. <laughs> if they did it, why not you? Is this popular <laughs> sound on TikTok? Uh, someone was saying, mm. if Marawi did it, mm. South Africa did it, mm. why can't I did it? <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah, yeah, something funny going on, but viral on TikTok. Yeah, um, now, 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 um, I heard people saying uh, that one of the complications you had uh, regarding the, the, the first chapter which we spoke about was uh, the management of uh, Diamond Platinum's were saying Musani and I mean the wife uh, is a singer, <laughs> the husband is a singer, this is not going to happen, it can't be possible. Um, have you heard of that? Honestly, I haven't, no. This is the first I'm hearing of it. But mm. I'm not surprised that a narrative like that would be out there. Mm. Maybe there's some truth to it, maybe not. Do you think it was yeah. going to be easier? The wife is a singer <laughs> and the husband is a singer. Was it going to be easier? I mean, I don't know. Mm. We're not in that chapter anymore, you know? Mm. That was four years ago. I chapter see. closed. I mm. see. And, um,. Before I actually get to talk about something else, mm -hmm. I want to close that chapter and I didn't go in deep okay. with it. But mm -hmm. uh, you did an interview that was uh, four years back, 2020, July 3rd, with uh, one of Kenyan uh, bloggers, uh, Bonga Najaras. Now you mentioned something like a demon is not supporting his son. Yeah, okay. <laughs> First of all, that was a very long time ago. Yeah, it was and third, secondly, uh, June yeah. 2020. Secondly, that's not true. Um, right now, we're in a very good phase. Mm -hmm. We're friends. We're co-parenting. He's yeah. the father of my son. Mm -hmm. He'll always be in my life, and I'll always respect him, you know? Mm -hmm. I think this interview was made about four years ago. It was a very long time ago. We're yeah. in 2024 now. Mm -hmm. I think we should focus on things that so are happening now. So, yeah, there's peace between us. Yeah, it's a peace between us. Wow. Yeah, it's a peace You know? Oh. We're so family, and we're always going to be family. And nothing but love to him he called yeah. your relationship yeah way way na his other baby mothers very good actually mm -hmm. zari well, and i yeah. talk you yeah. talk to zari yeah i talked to zari i talked to hamisa this actually we're actually all very cool and very cordial i just see seeing you at zima at the end of the day no, you know? wana wana. Wana wana. Yeah. Wana wana. Wana video call everything wana pendana sana you know yeah. so yeah it's all love over here there's no no bad vibes i, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say wana wana <laughs> 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 what is this supposed to mean? When I want to get it, uh, it means like uh, some. They say they're jealous. That's uh, what it means. But get it is like a slang way of saying oh, they're jealous. Yeah. 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 So let me hope the kids are not jealous of each other. So the baby mothers are not jealous. No, of no, each other. it's all love on this side. So you know, love. yeah, we've all moved on, and mm. it's beautiful. I like yeah. that. Mm. You have someone by your side right now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh so my God. You know, the manager is like, mm. let me see if he's gonna lie. <laughs> Break his heart. <laughs> oh, mm. <OMG. laughs> I like this, yo! What's cool, ladies and gentlemen? Tarasha Dora is in the building! Mm. East Africa's finest. Yeah, so you have Thank someone you. you're dating yeah. right now. Hmm. Maybe, you know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Situation. There's, also, there's someone, someone special somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Someone yeah. special mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm. That's nice. That's very good. Yeah. Mm. You're, not, you're not in a situation chip. No, it's definitely <laughs> not a situation ship. Mm. I, I have lots of morals for that. I'm very picky. So. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was thinking, should we take a short musical break? I uh, uh, would love to watch Shageri. Or you want us to finish it, then you go. Let's, it's let's up take a short to you. Musical it's break, up yo. to you guys. I'm here for you guys. Have some yeah. get to breathe. <laughs> You know, Haru Kamoga Chedu Mekum, and then we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Tanasha Dona, and this is uh, one of her popular tunes, ladies and gentlemen, featuring Diamond Blood Nams playing on the Chess Live. Let's go. Dona featuring Diamond Blood Nams playing on the Chess Live. Is it a cover? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Brenda.
twongere dusobanuremo gace ya se ibyo tumaze kuganira cyangwa tureka ababyumvishe birwarira you participated in Miss World Kenya No I didn't that's didn't. a misconception that's actually out there oh. I was about to though I was very close to participating in it and then last minute I decided otherwise I had a change of mind oh. so yeah, yeah. Th- it's true and not true but I didn't fully enter oh. but I was very close to actually had the chance to but I decided different last minute yeah okay. mm. uh, another thing as a hustler because uh, you know, you've been a singer you're a singer sorry yeah i mean you're you you were a, a commercial model commercial model still am yeah you still, still am yeah. mm-hmm. okay um you also uh, you are a radio host yeah i don't know which still station do radio nrg radio NRG yeah NRG. yeah that's oh, where i used to work it. no 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 i'm not oh, doing yeah. it anymore yeah that was back in 2018 yeah. oh. That was about six, seven years ago. Hey, time flies, yeah. What made time you flies. be a host, like a radio host? Like, what was your passion about being a host? Being a host? Yeah. Honestly, I was just very interested in journalism. And I was more focused on... I did love the entertainment side of journalism, but my actual passion in journalism was more like um, travel lifestyle I didn't get to do it you know but that's the kind of journalism I liked like docu series type of journalism archaeology I was really into that stuff so yeah I see plan to go back to media in time soon uh no not for now not I'm really focusing on my art um especially now that we're about to drop a 10 song project so we're really going to put most of our energy onto that but yeah but only god knows the future I can't tell the future but for now no yeah, yeah. so for me I would love to to me is the kick up about na but nazo uh to nge kuhusu shozako uh tonight and tomorrow uh, wow people you know you know be uh, what should people expect today and tomorrow a whole lot of energy, energy. i'm coming with a lot I of energy sure. i'm very sure so i just hope that the energy will be there and i'm sure that it will so um, i'm coming with energy and yeah. i want to see people just vibe and have a good time and oh. let's take pictures let's have fun don't be shy to approach me let's take shots let's vibe you know yeah. i'm here you to drink? just Do you drink? Honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. So you're taking a shot of water. <laughs> I'll take a shot of something, What's you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I just want everyone to have a good time and that's what we're here for. Same for tomorrow at the pool party. Yeah. The show starts at what time tonight? So show starts at 9. Mm-hmm. So ends at 2. So guys should start yeah. pulling up from 9. It's yeah. going to be lit. Yeah, we're going to have right. a lot of fun. How about tomorrow at the pool party? Tomorrow the posters are out. I believe tomorrow the pool party starts in the afternoon towards evening, but I did put the posters out so you can yeah. check it. Mm-hmm. All right. As for some boys and gentlemen, you should come through your tonight and tomorrow and support the lady. Yeah. Thank Tanasha you. Donna. That's how we do. Uh in last question before we talk about the interview. No, I'm okay now. I'm very satisfied <laughs> yeah. from what I had. Yeah, speaking on um Uh, speaking uh, about um Rwanda music industry I know you follow it you mentioned someone like Mike Kaihura at your last night interview and uh is an artist you once posted a rapper from here who mentioned you on his track do you remember him yeah. Bogo Yeah I saw someone being interviewed and said man yeah I posted on my story yeah yeah, yeah. so what was he saying by the way I've been meaning to ask that uh she, she, he he was trying to rap like uh, a queen okay. like Tanasha Donna Oh nice yeah. Yeah. thanks for that by yeah. the way yeah. thank you yeah. <laughs> appreciate it You should try me team he's one of the best rappers we have in the country Oh really yeah. nice yeah. I'd If love to your song trust yeah. me it's good Okay. Oh nice. I'm telling you. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. He's a hip hop legend. Okay. Love yeah. hip hop. So, yeah. let's yeah. go for it. Mm-hmm. And you also ventured into hip hop, yeah? Because yeah. on this song with Baraka you were rapping. Yeah, that was kind of like experimenting, yeah. you know. On this album I actually don't even have one hip hop song. It's yeah. more Afro soul, Afro beat, um with a touch of home, of course. We want to still bring it back home a bit of ama piano as well actually a few ama piano songs so yeah but hip hop is a genre i love and yeah down right. for it 
Oh, yeah. Who are the producers working on your new album? So I have um, a bunch of producers. So Fresh from Kenya. So Fresh is on the beat. I have Esther Kizi from on Tanzania. the... Yeah, from oh, Tanzania. Yeah. Esther Kizi. Oh, you know him, right? One yeah. of the best as well. I have Liza who mixed and mastered the whole project. Yeah. He also produced one or two, two songs actually from the album. So yeah, I had a good team working on this. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can't wait for the album. Thank you. Oh, so... so, so um, do you know any running song that you want oh. us to play for you? Uh, any running song that... Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, if you don't, you might be walking with the wrong people. And you, you guys need to <laughs> put me on more Ugandan music because earlier yeah. he pl I heard a Ugandan drill song. Josh, I what are you playing, Deka? You play me a Ugandan drill song. Which song is that? That's the one. That's the one. I saw it out. Uh, oh, does he? which one of his does he have that's out? Ushari. Ushari. Please play me Ushari. Yeah, that's a Rwandan yeah. artist. Yeah. Yeah. So which one are we doing? Uh, uh, which one? Which one? Huh? No, we, we, we want to play something else. We want to play something else. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you Okay. Which one do you have? Which one do you have? Okay. Let's do that. All right. Before we sign out, what would you love to tell the viewers? I'm so happy to be in Rwanda. I love your country. This is the country that's finally made me complete East Africa because I'd been everywhere except here. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see you guys tonight and tomorrow. And let's vibe, you know? Yeah. yeah. How do I say I love you, Rwanda? In Dabakunda. Dabakunda. Yeah. Dabakunda, Rwanda. I love you guys. Yeah. Dabakunda, Rwanda. Yeah. Dabakunda. Dabakunda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, Tanisha. Thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, and um, we're going to be playing Bushido. And of course, Dr. Nuni Mutori will be here. Because you're all going to stay true. The choice is like, I'll be right back. The Choice Live.